In terms of the, the dash of these Alice Chalmers, they're pretty standard. Um, this one has a couple of extra switches added for the lights on the full vision cab, which really work out pretty nice. The thing that's unique here, and probably the most important thing in any of these videos, is the information about the fuel cutoff. In every other tractor I've ever driven, uh, in every diesel bus or, or truck that I've driven that has a, a diesel cutoff switch, it's set up to where when you pull the switch, it's cutting off the diesel. On this Alice Chalmers and some other Alice 185s that I've seen, it's the opposite. You pull it to turn your diesel flow on and you push it in to cut it off. Uh, that can lead to some confusion and I've tried to figure out if there's a way to switch that and I have not found a way to switch that lever. So if you're having trouble with with getting your uh, Alice 185 or perhaps some other similar series to start, you might try switching that. In terms of the other controls, uh, your clutch and your brake pedals are pretty common to, to what other tractors would be. You've got a standard H shift pattern one, two, three, and four, and reverse, but you have eight gears. And the thing that's kind of unique about Alice Chalmers is a feature they call the power director. So on this one, it's mounted here on my grandpa's old 170 Alice Chalmers. It was a bigger lever that was mounted over on your right hand side, but the power director literally does what it's saying. It's directing power to the wheels. So you can be in gear with your clutch out, but with the power director in the, in the neutral position, which is where it is now, you can stop the tractor. And that way you can have your uh, implement or whatever's behind the tractor running off the PTO, it can still keep going. It's a way of providing live PTO, and it was one of the earliest forms of a live PTO. Alice Chalmers kind of made their chops uh, when they developed the roto baler, the little round baler. Uh, back, I believe it was in the 40s. And you wanted a tractor that you could stop without shutting off your PTO. So they developed the power director uh, so that they could run those uh, rotobalers well. At least that's my understanding. Somebody else can correct me if I'm wrong. On the later models, um, the power director became a two-speed power director. So that's what this has. You have your four gears in your standard H pattern and then you have a low side on your power director and a high side. And the increase between the low side and the high side is about 25%. So uh, if you're running about two miles an hour in first gear low, you're gonna be running a little over two and a half miles an hour in first gear high. That is a super handy feature when you're bailing. I bought this tractor for running a, a big round baler, a smaller one. Um, but uh, so when you're running along bailing, when you uh, get a full bale and it starts to tie off, you can just throw that into neutral. The tractor just keeps right on a chugging. You don't have to hold uh, a clutch, for instance, in a, uh, uh, a halfway position, like if you've got a two-stage clutch, while your baler continues to run. Another great feature on this series of tractor is the way the PTO is set up. The PTO is, my understanding, is hydraulically actuated. So I can be running along uh, at whatever speed and turn the PTO on with the throw of a lever without clutching anything. And then when I want to shut it off, I can do the same thing without clutching. That is a super handy feature. Um, I don't know how common that was in other brands, but it's something that's super nice for me uh, as, a, as a user here of a 45 year old tractor. I understand there's newer tractors that have a lot better features, um, but you can get an Alice 185 for way less than $10,000. And between the power director and the independent PTO, you've got a lot of features that you can use to do a lot of things um, without having to spend a whole lot of money to get those features. The hydraulics on the 185 are open center, um, so you want to make sure that you, uh, you take note of that. If you go to add something, for instance, uh, the loader on this, um, 
is is run here through a, a cross valve that's open center and uh, it's what I'm used to it's what I grew up helping my grandpa work on so uh, I'm pretty comfortable with the open center hydraulics your three-point control is over here on the right hand side the far right uh, lever is your three-point it's not a true draft control where you can move it into a certain position for a certain height uh, like I have on some other tractors so in some ways that's a little less handy uh, you've also got uh, dual hydraulic remotes the right hand lever runs the right hand remote on this tractor the left hand lever runs the left hand remote so it's pretty intuitive in those controls so uh, I hope you guys are, are able to see some of what's going on here and I uh, hope this is helpful in some way we'll try to shoot some more videos on some specific how-to's at a later point in time